Calvin Castine at Chasey Central Rural School. It's the 14th day of December, 2010. Temperature about 13 degrees as we arrived. We're still about uh, two minutes before game time. And we're almost four minutes into the game. So they obviously started a little early. This is Scrum Lake Wildcats visiting the Chasey Central Rural School modified Boys basketball squad. This is a busy day. We did a program with Gordy Little this morning. This afternoon we were at Rouses Point Elementary for uh, their Christmas holiday program. Okay, we had a brief timeout and a turnover. And uh, Craig Dupree and Brian Norcross came over to uh, open up a little bit of the bleachers for us. I was saying it's a busy day for hometown cable. In addition to the Cable, we're also, of course, putting uh, our videos on the internet and we'll try to get them up there as soon as possible. The program that I taped uh, with Gordy is, this morning is now on the internet and uh, when I get back this evening, we'll put the Rouses Point Christmas program on the internet and we'll start this these games that we do tonight on the road to uh, also being on the internet. So it's a non-stop effort. This is viewer supported local television. If you're watching this and you're not supporting us, we'd like to know why and I have not. Our only support is viewer support and a few advertisers. As I may have said, we'll get the lineups at halftime. We really busted uh, our hind end to get here to cover this modified game. So, if you're watching it, we would appreciate your support. Keep this program in coming. are good supporters of Hometown Cable. And maybe you should be too. Our score, by the way, is now 10-8 in favor of Scroon Lake. We have just a couple seconds left in the quarter. And after one full, and half of one full here as far as we're taping, it's 10-8 Scroon Lake. And period number two is underway. Modified A basketball in the MVAC. First of what should be three games this evening, I would assume. to pass up a Champlain Town Board meeting in order to cover the varsity here tonight. We missed a Shazy game last week because of other commitments. And they only have a limited number of home games, so we try to cover what we can when we can. shazy has been doing quite well at the moment, 2-0. I think tonight might be their first league game.
Easy layup. Somebody guarding him in the wrong direction there. Gotta guard his strong side. Keep him away from the scoring lane. Force him to go to his weak side. Shazy ball. Wildcats will bring it up following a timeout. Stolen by the Eagles. 12-8. Seven minute quarters. Eagles will keep it. Off the five seconds. <laughs> and with the clock about to expire in that inbound, you only got five seconds to get it in, guys. <laughs> the coach knew that they were going to turn it over if they didn't get that ball in. Tomorrow night we'll be missing a game, uh, a games at Northeastern to be here for the Shazy Girls. We uh, always have to pick and choose where we're going to be on a given night. And if you'd like us to choose Shazy on a regular basis, we need to know there's support for that. For us being here. They'll, they'll, uh, David Brown will turn the blind eye on that uh, inbound infraction. I was inbounded and the guy he gave it to took it out and he inbounded it. So. Not quite legal, but try to give the modified an extra break when you can. These youngsters are learning the game and the refs blew the whistle every time they had the opportunity. It'd be for a long game, and there wouldn't be much flow to it. So the good refs uh, let something slide and uh, try to balance it out. Two forty-five shown here in the second quarter. We'll. Uh, Try to get a modified game or two in the course of the year. We're, we're getting this one. We can't promise we'll be here for all these four o'clock starts. Not that there's that many. Again, there are only so many home games. It looks like uh, he found a wide opening there to score and make it a six point lead, 18 12. Short. 
And it's Green Lake ball. Two minutes to go in the first half. Shooting situation yet. I'll make it eighteen, no, twenty to fourteen. So Stroon Lake had built up a an eight point lead. Now it's down to six. They're falling over each other trying to keep that ball in play. Eagle ball. 2014 the score here. Second quarter taken down to 107 to go. Red ball. Ball, 44 seconds to go. Broken up by the Wildcats. Uh, good. Back to an eight point lead for the Wildcats. 22 14. You save it underneath the other guy's basket. You got to be careful and make sure you know where it's going. Because if it's, you're going to hand it to them, you might as well let it go out of bounds. It's halftime. We are seconds into the second half. I've got the lineups. Only a five minute halftime. And I spent part of that time talking to the new varsity coach here, Corey Thompson. Oh, nice block there by, I can tell you now, Sam Provost. Let's see, on the floor we see three Zach brothers. 15 is uh, Alex Dupree. 13 is Hagen O'Connor. 15 is, uh, oh, I said Dupree. Uh, 32 is Gage Castine. And uh, 21, that's uh, Sam Provost. On the other side, we got five, Alex Shaughnessy, 45, Joe Maisonville, 43, Logan Mitchell, 10 is Joe Foote, 14 and Chris Bearer. I uh, also got Derek Dezalia and uh, Brandon Dugan. Just uh, one, two, there's two guys on the bench. Let's see, not on the floor at the moment. For Shazy is has uh, is a basket. It's about 24-18 now, so Spoon Lake had built up a a uh, ten point lead. Dave Brown had been exchanged for Craig Hilchy, so Brown and Hilchy will probably do the JV game and they'll split the modified. Well, let's see, not on the floor for Shay Z. On Coach Fish's team are Gary Coda, number 10. Uh, let's see, you got 11, uh, Corey Ryan, 12, Matt Akey, uh, 22, Donald Reynolds, 24, Austin Gravel, 25, Jordan Hemingway, Chase Dunbar, 31, and I hope that's everybody. 
it's not, the ones I didn't mention have my sincere apologies. Off the rim, rebound up and missed by Provost, and rebounded by Mitchell. Shaughnessy brings it up, carried it. Uh, yep. 24 17 to score. We've got uh, Dugan in. Shazy's turn on the jump ball. It's, uh, who is it? I guess it's O'Connor, because it's too strong. Oh, Brothers, excuse me. Now it's a red ball. Bearer will inbound it. Shaughnessy will bring it up. Rebounded by Kastein. Rebounded by Mitchell. Four minutes to go in the third. Dupree tries it again. And here comes Shaughnessy for the Wildcats. Yeah, that one's good from Joe Maisonville. Nine point lead is 26 17. Steel Dupree drives the paint. And rebounded by Mitchell to Shaughnessy. And he throws it in. Nice move there by Alex Shaughnessy. 245 showing in the third quarter. Crazy ball. Over to O'Connor back to Brothers. Dupree. Modified boys at Shazy on the 14th of December. Maisonville scores. Ten days till Christmas Eve, almost time to start thinking about Christmas shopping. Red ball, they're up by 11, 30-19, with under two to go in the third. And, uh, Derek Dezalia just in the game, number 21. Whoa! That number 21 is Sam Provost. And that's it. good by Mitchell. And it's now a 13 point lead, minute and a half to go in the third. Three second violation gives it to Shazy, it's red time. So 
might as well score. 34, 19, 15 points, Green Lake lead. Rolls in, up the rim, Hagan O'Connor. That's 3 4, 2 1, score. And not for long as they get the ball to Mitchell, and he makes it 36 to 21. 15 point lead. I'm going to guess that 62.5% of the points scored by... 62.5% I'm going to guess scored by uh, Scroon Lake at the moment. 36-21. That's doing the math in my head, so you... Get your pencils out and find out what... Uh, 36, if that's 62.5% of 57. It's the end of the third. I think my math was a little off here without <laughs> figuring it out on a piece of paper, but uh, I think I'm in the ballpark. Not in the right seat, but in the ballpark. Here comes Shazy. Austin Gravel is going to go to the line. He was fouled by Shaughnessy. Azalea in too soon. Gotta wait till the ball's released if you're on the sideline and wait till it hits if you're the shooter. We're only at 629 here. It seems like we've been playing more than 31 seconds here in the second half. Well, maybe they inadvertently set the clock to eight minutes, maybe. It seems like we've been in the fourth quarter longer than 31 seconds, but maybe not. On the elbow. In and out and rejected by Provost. The red ball. Three second call. Stop and pop from O'Connor. Now we make it 36-23. For the visitors, 38-23. O'Connor takes it up short. And Castellanos fouled before the shot. That time he was fouled on the shot by Bearer, shooting two. Not helping themselves at the foul line. Yeah, nice move. I think that was Masonville that scored. O'Connor. Set up short in the hands of Mitchell. 
437 remaining in the game. And basket by Masonville. 42-23, Scroon Lake pulling away. Three forty-five in the fourth. Rebounded by O'Connor. And he turns and banks it off the glass. Screen Lake hasn't taken it in yet. Stolen. Egos by Gravel. He'll shoot two. That one dropped in, but we had some subs coming in. 42 26. 305 showing. That was missed. Gravel knew if he made it, he'd be sitting, so he decided to miss it. Picked up by Provost. O'Connor brings it up. It's the bottom of the rim, a bottom of the backboard, actually. Mitchell with the rebound. Mitchell with the shot, and he banks it in. I'm assuming that was intentional. 44-26, meantime, shazy has got uh, Alex Dupree waiting to come in for Gravel, waiting for the next whistle, and there it is. Shazy's ball. Stolen. What? What? He stole it in the backcourt. Okay, no defense in the backcourt. No defense in the backcourt. And modified. Slapped out of bounds by Provost. Inbounded by Foot. Provost. Under two to go in the game. Yeah, nice little fadeaway by Matt Akey. And we're going to adjust our tripod here. Yeah. Well, Shaughnessy scoring. One fourteen to go. Good effort. Forty six twenty eight to score. Called on Provost, We're down to 43 seconds. Trip. If 
future uh, conditioning coach for the New York Jets. 32 and a half to go in the second half. Two-handed push there. Bearer fouled out. Provost at the line for two. That uh, rim doesn't have a nice bounce to it. The bolts are loose. The ball rattles. The rim rattles. And the ball hits it. Mitchell. An easy shot. 48 to 29. An inbounding violation. 8.2. And Kuhn Lake will hit the 50 point mark. 50 to 29, a 21 point victory for the visitors, and that's the way it was in Mountain and Valley Athletic Conference Modified Boys Basketball on December 14th, 2010. Thanks for watching, and for those of you supporting viewer supported local television, Hometown Cable. Win, lose, or draw. This is TV worthy of your support, Hometown Cable.